Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on Snowflake secure data sharing using classic web UI and reader account. As you know that uh, Snowflake data sharing only works in the same region. Hence, you can either share data using another full account in the same region if consumer is a Snowflake user or you can create a reader account or a manage account and share the data for non-Snowflake user. Data sharing can only be done using account admin for equivalent privilege user. Let's start with the demo. Hope you will like this demo because it's very interesting feature in Snowflake. So for this uh, demo, I will I am going to use my uh, role account admin because uh, Snowflake data sharing can only be done using the account admin role. So I am connected to my uh, uh, Snowflake account and I have switched my role to account admin. I'm going to create a new database and a schema diet share demo for this demo. I already have a reader account created and for the trial account you can only create one reader account. So I'm reusing the same reader account. I'm not going to create a new reader account. But in case you want to create a new reader account, it's very simple. You just need to go into account, go into the reader account and then you can create a reader account. Click on the reader account and then give all the details here and that's it. But as I have already created one and there is a threshold of only creating one for the trial account, I'm reusing the same account. All right. So now if I refresh, uh, you will see that on the left hand side, the database and the schema has already been created and there is no table. Uh, before we uh, create any kind of object or uh, at least let's start create an object and then I will come to another thing. So if I create a, I'm just going to create a customer table out of the sample database and limiting the record to 500 so that it will get created quickly. So we'll see that the table got created. Now I'm going to create a secure view out of the same table. And then I'm going to create a unsecure view. I'm just going to remove the unsecure view and I will come to that later on. So both the view are using the same data. Only thing is one is secure, one is unsecure. Now I'm going to create a share. It's very simple. Create share, share name. So my share name is customer S. Now I will just give the grant uses on database to share customer S. So as of now, you can see that I have given the grants to the customer. And if I see so grants to share, it will give me that I have a user in the database. Now, if you refresh here, you will see that there is one table called customer got created. There is two view customer trans and customer unsecure got created. You can see the difference between the view is like you can see the symbol is different. Here you will see another lock symbol attached to the view. So that means it's a secured view. Now this is my reader account, which I have already created. So this is the account locator for my, uh, that is means like this is the account locator for my uh, reader account. So I'm going to uh, alter the share and add the consumer or the reader account to my share. So let me add that. I'm going to just open in, in incognito mode and connect to my reader account. So while when you create a reader account, so I have created a reader account with Martin Reader Acme. That's a default user which I created at the time of beginning. I'm reusing that till now. So when you create a reader account, you, you can have two different uh, uh, user in, attached to this one user is the admin user which is itself you because you want to manage all the share and you don't want to give the admin privilege to the read only user else they might use lots of things and because user all the compute will be paid by you so you need to monitor or you need to control the way in which the reader can use your account so to do that you can create a separate user uh, for your consumer and share that with them with the limited privileges so the same thing i am going to do so if you can see 
I have connected with Martin, this admin. If I switch my role to account admin, I am able to do that. So if I give this account to, uh, uh, if I give the, this account to the consumer, they can do anything on this account, and then I am end up with paying all lots of uh, credits for this. So what I'm going to do here, you will see that uh, I only have Snowflake user, and if I go and share, you will see that there is a share being shared with me, which I created customer as shared by my uh, account, which is NN89661. And there is no database created. So if I click here and say create database from secure share, and I will just name it at same customer as, and then just grant this to public. And then I will just say, reader share demo and then create a database and I will say okay now if I come on worksheet you will if you refresh you will see that the customer database is started visible and you can see the symbol of arrow in the share database so now if I click here you will see that there is no schema uh, shared apart from the information schema which is the default schema this is why because I have not shared anything else apart from database so only database is visible now if I switch my window and go back to my main account and uh, if you if you see here I have a customer table under diet share schema as well as I have two views right so if I go here and start sharing all the stuff like uh, if I say okay go and give the uses on the schema and select on the table and select on the view and I am just going to copy this and I am also going to give the same grant on the view which is name as unsecured view customer unsecured I'm just going to give one by one so you can see that the I have given the grants I have given the grants for the table I've given grants for the view now you will see the difference that when I execute this it will fail because you can only share the secured view uh, in the sharing when you are working with the secure data sharing you can only share the secure view not the normal view hence it got failed and we are not able to share this data but now if you go and see all the grants you will be able to see that lots of objects are now visible that uh, you can see the tables and the views now if I switch my uh, window and if I refresh here you will see that everything started appearing over here the table and the customer trans view and now if I want I can query but uh, okay all right i have used in the wrong uh, sorry i have used the wrong one if i go here and say place name in customer you will see that i am able to query the share but if you uh, uh, if you see here i am using that as an account admin but if i switch that to different role like sys admin i am still able to see the things and I am able to run the query because I am able to do that because I am uh, logged in as a super user now uh, we can't give this uh, user login or credential with the end consumer else they can do anything so if I want to drop this share I can also drop this share so just let me share this with you let me just drop this database if I will show you drop database customer s okay i have to switch because i created that as an account admin i can't drop that so if i go here and say drop now if i refresh you will see that the database is gone but if you switch your uh, uh, this to share and if i come here and refresh you will see that still the share is uh, along with me i still have the access to the share only the database which is the uh, underline or you can say like the wrapper sitting on top of the share is gone 
but if I want I can again create the same database using the same button so if I say control s say public create database and okay now if I go here and refresh I will see that I again have all the access so that's how you can see that uh, everything one more thing is like uh, say uh, if I query here you will see that the C address is like this but let me do that uh, after creating the user so let me create a reader account I'm just going to account under user I'm going to click here to create a new user and I'm going to use the name as read only user so I'm going to use as read only user I'm going to set the password I have set my password I'm just removing the force password change because I don't want that I'm going to use the default uh, default role as public and default uh, warehouse as uh, small warehouse that's what I have so if I click OK a new user has been created and if I go here and say log out and if I say read only and if I sign in you will see that what I am able to see I'm logging as consumer and you can see that by default I am able to see the consumer share and all the things which I was able to see the admin user now if you go here and uh, try to see what else you have if you want to change the uh, your uh, role you can't because you only have access to public schema but you are still able to see all the data so say if I say select star from say view so I did that sorry it didn't selected the peer house all right so one thing I forgot to give the grants so let me log out and connect as Martin with me at me because I have forgot to give the grants to use the warehouse that's the one thing I missed I will quickly add that I will go on warehouse that's the warehouse which I have and then I will just add the grant privilege I will give the uses of this warehouse to public role and now if I connect as a read only user I will able to see the warehouse so I'm just connecting as read only user and now once I am connected I will see that the default warehouse is selected now okay now it is selected our database is this and it will come directly and if I go and execute this now I'm able to see all the data now I can see uh, very carefully about the data and if I go and query the same customer table as well let's see if I am able to do that or not I am able to see all the things now I can see that the C address is somewhere uh, randomly coming over here and I want to change something on the source whether it will get reflected over here or not so what I am going to do I am going to update the customer table with C address as Amsterdam which is my local address and let's see if it get reflected quickly over there or not so I updated all the 500 rows now if I go here and pre-query this you can see that the C address is updated that means I am sharing the underlying storage and uh, I'm only using the compute which is also being paid by the uh, owner of the database or the producer and I'm just consuming the data I don't have to manage anything as part of reader account because I am not a snowflake user or a customer and I am just an external customer and as a regular customer I am using the data and I'm paying or based on whatever agreement you have with uh, as part of provider and uh, consumer you are getting this feature so this is what uh, like uh, and another thing like this is a read-only account say if you want to do the same update statement over here 
and try to see if you can update this to something else or the same data let's see whether you are able to do that or not if you try to do that you will say that sorry okay i have to share this because uh, my context is not set up properly on the top but let's see operation is not supported in the reader account say uh, i just wanted to drop this drop database will i am able to do that or not no insufficient privilege so basically this is a read only account i am not able to do anything neither creation drop or anything apart from reading the data which is being shared to me which is the primary purpose of creating the read only account here i am able to read everything but i am not able to create anything because of restricted privilege now it's very simple like uh, even if you uh, means like you can't do anything you can't switch the role so whatever is available is the public user and public user is very limited i have not given anything to public user hence if i go back and connect as a admin user let's see and if i want to drop the user now like if i i say okay i want to drop the customer uh, database which is the shared database i am able to do that now you will see that the database is gone now if i go in the share like as we have seen earlier if i switch my role to account admin i am not able to see uh, which is admin it will come in a moment we will see that the share is still there and it will not go unless i remove the share from my source database so if i go here and say okay i want to remove the share i will say alter share customer as remove account my read only account name and if i execute this now if i go here and back here and if i refresh we'll see that the share is gone and if i come here in the worksheet if i refresh there is nothing so now the share is gone from the reader account and i am no no more uh, eligible to read the data from this customer as shared database and uh, as the demo is completed i would like to revoke everything and drop the shared database so now everything is gone and everything is cleaned up and hope you uh, understood the basic uh, understand means like basic underlying uses how you can use the uh, data sharing uh, with read only account hope you like the demo and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you